So with IDS, what happens is that it's going to, when if there's an attack that takes place, it's going to get those uh, packets. And a lot of times there's more, more than one packet that's going to carry out some type of attack. So it will gather the t um, packets. It uses an engine to reassemble the packets so it could determine, yes, this is an attack. Um, and it's going to uh, verify it against either signatures or behavioral uh, profile that we'll get into. And then it's going to, whatever, however it's configured, whatever the actions it's supposed to take, it will uh, log it. It could um, send a message to the router or the firewall to uh, reconfigure itself to stop that type of, of communication to, into our environment, or it may block the, the session by sending um, FIN packets if it's over a TCP IP, or if it's using TCP. So then the, once there's some type of attack that's identified, it's going to go to the uh, co console, or, and it's going to probably email the, um, the administrator or whoever's responsible for looking at this. Or it may actually go out to, if you have like a managed service, then all that information goes to the service that's managing this. And uh, then they will uh, be involved in helping the company take care of this issue.